In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your external SSD to be the main drive for your computer, your M4 Mac Mini, or any Mac that's running the OS past 15.4. Now you may be asking, why do you want to run an SSD as your main drive? Well, if you're running a computer like the base model Mac Mini, and it only has 256 gigs of hard drive space, and you want to leave that hard drive as open as possible, whether it's for swap use, or you just don't want to put that much usage on it because there are much better SSDs out there at that point when you're getting the base model. By doing this, it takes your documents, your applications, pretty much anywhere you're going to store files and it will store it on the external SSD. It does everything except for the major OS files that it needs to run the operating system of the computer. So it'll save you space. Now a little bit of a warning, the best time to do this is right when you get the computer before you install or do anything to the computer. Because once you change your disk space from the internal hard drive to an external SSD, you are not going to be able to have access to those files anymore, or at least as easily. And when you boot up your computer from changing it, it's going to have nothing in the application folder and all of your settings are going to be reset to the default settings. Now you can easily change this back. I had to go through the same process and learning how to do this. Due to that, it's why I recommend just doing it right off the bat because you're going to have to go through and change your settings again, reinstall all your programs. So if you didn't log into your iCloud yet or didn't do any of that stuff, it's better just to turn on, boot up your computer, change to the SSD, then install everything because you're going to have to do everything twice. But in my situation, I did have to do everything twice in order to do so. But let's show you how to do this. Okay, so here is how you're going to set up your SSD as your main hard drive. Go over to System Settings, then go over to Users and Groups. Then you're going to want to right click or secondary click on whatever the user your main account is. Click Advanced Options. Put in your password. Then you're going to want to go down to Home Directory and choose your hard drive. Now, in this case, I have this little drive hooked into it. I could click that. And once you do so, it's going to ask you to restart your computer. Now, I'm not doing it in this situation because this is my laptop that I'm showing you on. But once you restart your computer, everything will be set to go. Again, I would recommend doing this off the bat. That way you don't have to change all your settings again, reinstall all your apps. But if you're doing this on an older computer or you've already done so, just make sure to clear out all of your apps before you go and make this setting change. That's one of the reasons I had to switch back to using my internal hard drive on my M4 Mac Mini is I had stuff like DaVinci Resolve already installed on the internal hard drive. So I had to go uninstall everything and then switch back to my SSD and then reinstall everything. The other thing too is make sure you're using an SSD with the best transfer speeds and also one that's not going to overheat. I did a video discussing my favorite SSDs to use with the M4 Mac Mini and I would say if you're going to use any hard drive as your main hard drive that you edit with or just use on a regular basis all the time, I would choose this OWC Thunderbolt 4 drive. I'll have a link in the description below and I'll also put a link to the video where I discuss this drive more in depth. But as you can see, this thing's really big. It is so big that it actually acts as a heat sink for the drive so it won't overheat. So you could confidently use this drive as your main hard drive on a daily basis. And yes, it adds a little bit of bulk to the M4 Mac Mini. But if you're looking at this, you've probably saved so much getting the base model that the sacrifice you're going to have to make is using an external hard drive. So if you have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you got knowledge and value out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos on the channel. And until next time, my name is Jeff Fagan. Thank you for joining me as always, and I will catch you in the next video.